Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I just finished re-recording those two episodes of the first two episodes of Leviathan. So I'm hoping that editing is not going to be a nightmare. It is. It is going to be a nightmare, but maybe not too much of a nightmare. One can hope. Anyway, I've also just made a couple miraculous saves that the third episode ended up working out being perfect. I didn't have to re-record that one. And the fourth one I thought I had, I didn't actually have. It's fine. Everything's fine. I, it's not going to make sense because it didn't make sense to me. <laughs> but uh, somehow I thought I recorded four. Turns out I only recorded three. So anyway, we're back to normal scheduled. Hopefully, as long as this one doesn't, you know, blow up on me. Um, but we were on part two of the Leviathan DLC itself. So Amber Eisen's the best source of information about the Leviathan artifact. We had to search the Pylos Nebula to find her. To get it, get on in there. Get on in there. You leave. I'm not gonna visit Anderson's apartment yet. Though you can't make me Pylos Nebula. Are you one glowing? Scan dig site. Boy, howdy, it's just like the old days. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. I felt like Baldur's Gate 3 was really quiet, so I turned it up on my desktop, and now I'm like, yee yee, I feel like Mass Effect is super loud. Why is Mass Effect so loud? Uh, um, scan. Let's see. Let's just take a quick little peek, see? Reapers have ignored it as a military target. It's one of those extrasolar captures. Cool beans, it's really pretty. And then there's this one. Yeet. Jonas. My name is Jonas. Ba -na -na. Another extrasolar, two extrasolar planets in the system and that's it, weird. Reapers destroyed the base and they abandoned infrastructure, but not before catching a tr triggering a trap, a crude nuclear device meant to catch them in its blast. Um, from orbit, the Normandy sensor can pick out a sign that some wackish employee has left on the wreckage of the moon base gone fishing. <laughs> gone fishing. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's really actually good. <laughs> gone fishing for Reapers. Anyway, I don't know what waggish means. I hope it's not <laughs> a really bad word. <laughs> Oh, people will be people, you know? All right, I'm gonna have to run. Signal. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, it's so loud now. <sighs> but they do wait patiently for me to find it. What we got? Jovian dissertation, I'm so thrilled. On Jovian gas planets, we've got a dissertation. Meow. Reapers eluded. Only 50%? There's probably like gas in that system or something that I miss. Whatever. This one. I don't know. I don't I don't know if we uh got a what do you call it? Um uh, which planet? I think we should have to figure out which planet it is. An Arab habitable planet, Namalaki, was briefly colonized by the Perenna Corporation, a consortium of Asari colonists and so -so socialized Vorcha laborers. That... That is not good. After an economic downturn, however, many Asari left the, the planet, and the Vorcha population kept growing to the point where they bred faster than could be educated. Soon they turned violent and uncontrollable, and the colony is essentially self-destructed. Today, Namakli is a wasteland with little population, but Vorcha packs are scattered across the desert. Settlers frequently run into these packs, discouraging recolonization. The lack of complex biota and scarcity of profitable metals drove the last few proverbial men to Namakai's coffin. No one has stepped forth in the past few years with the will, the funding, or the firepower to establish a permanent colony. I mean, why would you want it? There's not much there. Estag. It's discovered by a joint Asari Borcha exploration team. So the, the whole thing about this, like, socialization thing, like, are they socialized or, like, socialization, right? They're like, the Borcha can be brought into civilization if they're just taught properly, like, trained like a dog. You know, and uh, I guess, and then but then once they've overbred and their like violent tendencies come into light, like they can't teach them anymore, like there's too many, then it just devolves. It seems that seems a bit like it was a losing, a losing endeavor. Oh, the planet was not deemed any effort. 
Azaras is metal poor with few asteroid things. There was a scientific uh, expedition. Nothing's left. A whole lot of nothing here. So she's not going to be on the gas giant. It served the colonists of Namalki. It was destroyed by meteorites, the, the apparatus. Oh, creating, probably creating grotesque rings. Cool. Oh, uh, anyway, okay. Let's see. I think we. I found hey. something. Where you at? We're looking for Anne Bryson. We gotta give her the unfortunate news. I did see on my re-record um, that, I don't know, I don't think I pointed it out, but that he has a picture of her as an adult in his room too. You know, like, like a like a father-daughter picture uh, on his like nightstand. Okay. We have located Anne Bryson's We found site. it. Land. Oh, no, ain't no got time. Okay, well, okay. We have a dig site. We should probably bring Liara again. Javik, if we're not, hopefully we're not encountering Geth. I think this is mostly... Not that I think our biotics were super good against the, sh the, the armor, but... Don't care. Wee! Oh, I leveled up again. Sick. Um, of that. It's always nice to have increased ammo capacity. I understand we have reports of an attack on a group of scientists. Yeah. Oh, I should have changed my armor. Gosh dang it. That's all right. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. We are really playing catch up. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional problems. Who knows what we'll Sounds find. Sounds like Liara's situation. Agreed. Take us in closer. From back in the day. Copy that. When we, we rescued Liara from the... Oh! Oh yeah! There's Reaper, Reaper guys. We have hostiles! Yeah, those are Reaper guys. Take us in. Commander, on the landing the platform! The flying Reaper guys. That's her! Oh, that's rough. Okay, let's get... Yeah, no. Damn. What did we think we were gonna... Yeah. Get us over there. We saw them. Negative, it's too hot. Heading to lower platform. Hang on. There, go. Jump! Run, Cortez. Trying to evade organic flying machines move, in a shuttle would be unreal. Ah! <laughs> I don't like... Move. She's somewhere above us. Hello? Where's the... Is anyone there? Am I, am I hearing... Down. No, stay where you what? are. I don't like it. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. It's too dangerous. We'll come to you. Yes, okay. You should take Where's... the elevator up on the far side. Copy that. We're on our way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please stop. Look at him. Look at how... <laughs> Look at their little wings. This guy's close up. Are you gonna... I don't think I'm actually in any danger, but it sure feels like I am. Also, this is definitely the place where the, uh, the rock art is. Come back here, you little. Absolutely not. Ooh, there's somebody behind me. Something happened. I don't know. Please don't jump on me. I'll be very sad. I'll be very sad. I might cry. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. This is this is rough. They got all their 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 not the cavalry, we the air support. They got their air support in. Here. This feels dangerous. I don't like this at all. You are dead people. I'm sorry.
Oh, okay, here it is. Here it is. See? Can you find a place to hide? Not all of it. Get there. Stay put. But, whoa, this shows that there was potentially like. Ew, gross. Stop eating. Stop eating people. Can I just go down this way? Maybe? Oh, Javik's already dead. I was like, who is that? It's Javik. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Horrible. What? Oh, jeez. I need to go. What are we looking at? I don't even know. Oh. Ha 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 ha. What that? I love my spike thrower, but... The raider, the weight is heavy. Damage. Mm, accuracy, nope. I like what I have. Oh god, I almost switched the wrong one. Okay. I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to not. Oh, missed. Oh, dang it. Can't even tell like what he's. Oh. No, oh no, I think the banshees are coming. Oh no. Come on, go on. Looks like a bridge over there. Hang on, we gotta find, we gotta look at the bridge. There's bigger rock art later, but it's cool. Well, this is what people, people, people nowadays are like, ooh, rock art shine a bit. No, it isn't, it's just a cool story. But it is cool, look at that. You would think, though, that... Controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. Uh... Yes, Javik? Okay, Javik, I can see it. The banshees are coming, I know that. <laughs> Back up. Go away. I don't want to deal with any of you. The bridge is operational. Right oh, there's still some people here. Nice. Construe that line for you know anything but what it actually is, and you're like, oh, you know, like we don't know some things that seem obvious. That that's why a lot of times you have like the scientific fields that we have in archaeology. Got it. And Horizon Zero Dawn does a really good job of that too, right? Where um, it's 
like, oh, it's not that it seems like. Is there another way up? I'll override the pod door near you. There's an access point above command, but you'll have to climb to it. If we're Copy stuff that. that seems like to us, like a mug. There's a whole thing about mugs. Uh, where you can collect them in Horizon Zero Dawn. And it's like, the guy who's like collecting them is like, ooh, what are mugs? Like, this is crazy, you know? Like, what could they possibly be? And like, comes up with all these various things that they could be. And it's like, obviously, it's a drinking vessel to us, right? But like, that truly encapsulates like, like the, the, the thing about archeology, span especially, is that like, <laughs> no! Don't, don't drop any more on me, I swear. This one's stressful. Did you see the big rock art though? There was a big one. I think I went past it a little bit. There was a big one. Whee! This is how I would die. I'd be like on a dig somewhere. And like I, I would be like, ooh, look at that! And then I would get like totally just like wrecked by some alien. Xenoarchaeology is really cool. I, I keep trying to find cool books that have like like xenoarchaeology without it being like some dry boring. Um, Find another way. But, I, you know, it's like, oh, that'd be so cool to be able to do that, to discover ancient alien species or, like, like, like cultures and stuff. At, but no, like, the, the reason, archaeologists die all the time. We're being cornered. Stay hidden, Doctor. We always die. But there's too many of them. Hurry. We always die in the stories. We're always the first ones to, like, a location and then figuring out that, like, that the location is actually very deadly, you know? They're the ones that get like the weird alien plagues and stuff, and I'm like, that's how I would go. You know, that's just truly what would happen. I think to be a xeno archaeologist, you really would have to have like military training. <laughs> See, who here's some. Woo! This is what you could you could find some stuff like this kind of in, in the real world. Actual people silhouettes. Kind of people-ish looking at you. came through and like wrecked most sentient life but let humans live because we were so far down the totem pole of like any sort of um what's happened don't move until we get there live right but 50,000 years ago we do have raw guard that's at least from like 30,000 years ago um i'm not I mean, i'm more like north america we don't have a lot of like the super old stuff uh, that you can get in like europe and france stuff um europe and france. uh i'm dying um in europe you get like some like possible neanderthal art and stuff too um yeah, Africa has really has really old rock art, but like I don't know much about it because that's not what I focus on since I work in North America. Um, but not do anything to you. I'm very unhappy about that. Anyway, 
anyway, it's totally theoretically possible that you could have rock art from 50,000 years ago when you could like potentially the reapers would have like maybe come through and like looked and been like mm, not 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 enough to worry about, right? I think you have to have some sort of space flight capability for them to want to take you out. Um, and we obviously did not 50,000 years ago have anything close to that, so yeah. Why is it not <laughs> So obviously, you know, we were we were we were spared in the purge. But uh if they had come through and did a sweep through, people would have seen them and it would have been like crazy, right? Like you would have been like, holy cow. And so obviously we would make rock art out of it. We have rock art of like um well documented uh like astronomical occurrences, like solar eclipses and stuff like that. There's even, I think there's stuff about like volcanoes like going off potentially um, in some places. Uh, I know a sunset crater in Northern Arizona. Um, the elevator's up ahead. There's Get to it. oral uh, histories of the, the sun of sunset crater exploding um, because it happened like 1200 years ago, like just 1,200 years ago, um, which obviously was well within living memory of the people who live there, you know? So, Anyway, you get some cool stuff, um, and there's some that have been postulated to be going to like for like to line up to like solar eclipses and stuff like that, and not just postulated too. Like it's just you know you see something cool in the sky. Like I think the Chinese right had like a they have, like, like a reported like a supernova going off. Again, that's the written record, but like st you would also like if you saw that in the sky, you'd be like, wow, this is your only way to communicate over like time and space. Like you 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 paint it, you know, you put it on the rock. Anyway, sorry, I should have just clicked on it. Anyway, please don't listen to me too much while I'm trying to, like, extrapolate on a really cool anthropological, archaeological things while I'm also trying to fight off an alien invasion. Like, my words are all over the place. I'm trying to do six things at once. Elevator's online. We're coming up. Please hurry. I think Hopkins is dead. Like, I've been busy talking about rock art and how it, like, you know... <laughs> how stories go through the ages due to rock art and everything, and also He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Everything's blown up. Where did everyone go? What do you mean, where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't yeah. make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh, God. Yes, of course. It's crazy that you're still alive, honestly. Also, this is less people I have to escort out. I uh, was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Commander, look. Ooh, now we get to go look at it, like, in case you missed it on the way in. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Oh, yeah! Not like any reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. Yeah, I'm like going off about how it's reapers coming down in the sky and it's actually Leviathan. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Lady. Not strange at all. I have seen so much. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! Trying to pull a me. What are you doing? They've activated this. I've never managed anything. Uh-oh. Doctor. They've learned too well. The darkness must not be breached. Shepard! Take it out! Yes, Commander. The artifact? You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle? You run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. No, don't. She's obviously being mind controlled. Me. No. I did that on purpose. Look, it's so cool. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We have 
Ha ha ha. Okay, I had fun. Harvester. We'll bring it down. We need to bring the harvester down now too. controlled one yeah commander I, I think so I blacked out your brain is broken Leviathan took control of you we cut the connection before you got by hurt. breaking the one thing we came here for Leviathan itself that's incredible no the Reaper seem as interested in it as we are yeah it certainly seems that way we all have the same body language we were hoping you could help us figure out why but first doctor I have some bad news and please Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers, never went back to dark space, like a rogue, or even a defector. Uh -huh. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father is dead. I'm sorry. He's... what? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him. Hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine. The next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Anne? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation to meet you there. Yeah. Let me see. Meet her on the Citadel and gain her help. Is that... Is this part three? Because... Ah, that's kind of weird to just leave it. As it is.
So anyway, see, this is why I obviously it's been a long time since I've played this, and I totally I keep forgetting that this is about. There's a there's a reason I keep forgetting it's about <laughs> not the reverse, but it's about the Leviathan specifically. Um, and uh, I mean, it's about the Reapers, but it's also like you, know, you see that thing, and you're like, ooh, what a fancy looking Reaper, you know? But it looks different than all the others. Whoa, crazy. I think we're good here. I, I will, I think I'll do the next part in the next episode where we talk to Anne, because it feels weird to just leave her hanging. But I think after this, we're gonna need to go do Thessia. Um, which is a little bit awkward, I know. I probably should have saved this till after Thessia. Um, anyway, we've done that. Running around. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm like, look at the rocker. Blah! <laughs> 100%. That's how I would die. Uh, <laughs> if I could actually study alien civilizations, I would be out <laughs> so fast. But uh, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Sorry, this one feels a little disjointed. If this uh, DLC might feel a bit odd. Um, yeah, I did my best. But, you know, it can't be perfect. Because I just, that's just the way things are. <laughs> oh, I hope I edit this ending out a little bit anyway. Because <laughs> I'm just rambling. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.